Greetings and salutations, ladies and gentlemen, and of the realm. I wish to speak to you on a certain thing. Since when did we allow rappers and porn stars? No, no, no. Has been rappers and porn stars to dictate what we can and cannot wear. Well, if you look at Huffington Post, it turns out that people like they are so beloved to Julian Kim Kardashian and Kanye West are in charge of this whole thing. Yeah. Yeah. Seriously, folks. Why? Why? Why do we give this to people? I, I swear. I don't. I usually don't give a flying if you see K what they do. I'm pretty much of the attitude of what they do is. It. Okay. You know what? Let me see the back. Um. Basically. If anything, I usually don't care what people want me to wear or not to wear. I mean, heck, when you brought the 60s back, I was like, we did this 20 years ago. I could see 20 years ago because, well, it had been 20 years ago since the 60s were in style. And, of course, you know, you had to have that one style that no one wanted in the first place. And so, yeah, we got the Rat Pack. Pack, or whatever you want to call it. Of course, the 80s already gave us Rat Pack, except it started with a B, and it was Rat Pack. And they were awesome. However, now, Kim Kanye and Kim and Kanye decided, Hey, let's bring back grunge. No. They cannot bring back any 90s styles. And here's why they can't do that. One. I'm sorry. This usually doesn't matter, but, um... Grunge was not fashion. It had nothing to do with fashion, okay? As I read this article, that's exactly what I thought, folks. I was thinking... I, at first, I was quite enjoyed. I was like, awesome, I can finally wear my grunge his outfits, and people could shut the freaking hell up about it. But, then I read something. Kim and Kanye are wearing it. <laughs> just, just take a fork in me, folks. Just, just do that. Just do me a favor. Do the whole world a favor. Just stick a fork in me and call me done. <sighs> but at the same time, you have to keep in mind, it's really not a style that's died out. It's just a style that everyone gets annoyed at. You know, we, during the 90s, we hated the Afro. We still hate the Afro now, but, <laughs> hey. Oh, and then you got the bell bombs. Still hate the bell bombs. We respect what happened during the time. We respect, you know, the fact that, hey, black people can go wherever they want and do whatever they please and stuff. But, why the bell bombs? Those don't need to come back in style, okay? I mean, you can say the 90s and 80s look look slubby, but I could see myself wearing that now. Way more than I could see myself wearing anything from the 60s and 70s. I already did that. We already sat through that. Okay? I don't care if it wasn't popular then, and somehow these little teeny boppers with their Justin Bieber or, and their her cell phones and stuff. Don't get me wrong, I have a cell phone too, folks. But at least our generations of just 
the innocence of this time when you get to it. Like, we're the innocent ones. We didn't do anything. But, you know, and plus, it wasn't a style, folks. That's, now, it became a style after Kurt Cobain, and he played his music, and they realized, hey, this, this could make money, huh? Yeah, we can tap into those teenage young men who just, like, looking cool. Oh, and, hey, we can, we, it's a simple style, simple fabrics, everything, and that's the thing. That was the whole freaking point. College kids wear, wear these things. It was a simple style, you know, top ramen, grunge. Two things that actually go together with college kids. But, of course, now we got the 60s, so now we all have to belt out the money where we don't have it. Huh? Of course, it's a lot more expensive to buy because people are idiots in this country. And no offense, but we are. Uh, we repeat or regurgitate a style such as that. I mean, 80s, I could respect. Some things in the 80s were actually kind of cool, and we're regurgitating it now. And doing it a little less brighter and a little less painful to the eye, because I hate saying this, the 80s weren't all neon colors. There's 2010s. And we toned it down just a bit. And same thing with the 90s. We didn't do that either. Okay, we... we we tone down with bright colors. As in, I hope they don't overdo it by, Hey, look, I put this uh, old sweatshirt in the mud and decided to wear it around. No, it's just yeah, tied around your waist. And all is well, my friends. Anyways, what do you all have to say about this? Because I just... All I can say is, of all the people to be advertising this stuff to me, it should not be Kim um, or Kanye. Okay, Yeezy can take it, take his fashion and know-how and shove it up where the sun don't shine for all I care. That is all. Thanks for listening. This is Eveline. Sign out, my friends.